Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the IS Serviceability and Engineering Group, and today I'm going to do a short video clip on installing an RFA license and authentication file on Communication Manager 5.2.1. Communication Manager 5.2.1 license and authentication file. Basically the process to install the license file and authentication file is the same whether it's a brand new install, a server replacement, or you're just adding additional features. There is one slight caveat, and that is if it's a new install or possibly a server replacement and it's CM 4.0 and later, you'll have to create a super user login prior to loading the authentication file. Again, that was a requirement put on with Communication Manager 4.0. The license is based on a serial number of either an IPSI or a gateway. That IPSI or gateway will be referred to as a reference IPSI. If you replace the reference IPSI or the reference gateway, you will have to go to either RFA or PLDS and do a serial number swap and probably load a new license file. The license authentication file are generated by RFA via email's license file and authentication file to the individual or if you're in Avaya personnel and you have the correct permissions, you can retrieve the license file yourself from RFA. As you can see, we're logged into the Linux shell. We're logged into this craft. We've already put the craft password in. VT100 works fine for us. Yes, we want to suppress alarm origination. And you can see communication and license error mode. System admin will be blocked in approximately 30 days. Contact your service representative immediately. So this is one reason why we want to load the license. We're going to run a new command called status license. So one word, status license. And it will tell you some information about why the license is blocked. Contact your service rep, again blocked in 30 days. The license has expired. It also tells us use MGP in the serial number of that. So this is actually a gateway and we're using the serial number of a gateway. 06i is the start of it. Next, I want to run the SW version command. The only reason I'm running the SW version command here is just to check the load of the release in case we have to get a license. So it's 5.2.1, 16.4 is the build. So we're in good shape. Next, we'll log into the CM web pages and install the license. We're in the CM web pages, logged in as craft. We enter the craft password. We say yes to suppress alarm origination. We're at the SMI splash page. We move up to administration and we select server maintenance. We scroll down to the bottom and we select serial numbers and we're selecting serial numbers more for information. We want to know what the license file is tied to. MGP and the serial number. MGP means it's tied to a gateway and that's the serial number of the gateway. Next, we're going to move up to administrator accounts. Starting with CM 4.0, you have to create a super user login prior to loading the authentication file. So we're going to go through that process here. So select Privilege Administrator, scroll to the bottom, click Submit, the admin will be our login, Profile 18 is perfect, we're again going to use Password, Member Password, date characters, capital letter, small case, and numbers can't look like a word. So I enter my password, I re-enter my password, I Submit. The ad was successful for the admin. Now I go to license file. And you can see I'm in license error mode right now. So we're going to check install the license file specified below that radio button. We're going to browse to the folder on my laptop. We're going to select it. So highlight and open. And then we're going to submit it. And you get this successful warning. The license installation uninstallation requires a restart of the web browser. Please wait 15 seconds for the restart to finish before clicking another link or any button. So we're going to wait 15 seconds. Our 15 seconds is up. 
We're going to select authentication file, continue, and we're going to click the radio button, install the authentication file I specify below. We're going to browse to my folder. We're going to select it and we're going to click open and then we're going to install it. And it tells us installation successful. We're in Linux shell as craft. We're going to enter the craft password. VT100 is fine. Yes, just press alarm and origination. Notice there are no alarm errors anymore. They've been cleared. So the next command we're going to run is a command called status license. And look at it, it tells us status license. We're in normal mode. It's tied to my MGP, so it's tied to my gateway and the serial number of my gateway. My next step is going to be to type SAT so I can go into the communication manager. I put in my craft password because I'm required to. W2KTT will be the terminal type we'll use. Yes, just press alarms. And now we're in CM and we can complete our whatever work we need to do. We successfully installed the license and authentication file. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.